The month of June has just begun. But the sun blazed fiercely and it is very hot. There is a power cut in Diya's house. The heat is unbearable because the AC cooler and fan are not working. It was so hot that Diya's entire family has gathered in the hall fanning themselves with magazines and newspapers. Dia was dripping with sweat in the sweltering heat. Just then she caught sight of Megha outside the window with a mischievous look on her face. Megha gave Dia a wink. Suddenly the sky darkened as black clouds rolled in rumbling with thunder and lightning. A cool breeze swept through the living room making Dia and her family gasp in delight. Dia ran to the balcony. From there she has a breathtaking view of the queen's necklace. The once bright blue sky is now filled with deep grey clouds. A raindrop landed on Dia's cheek and there's a lovely smell in the air. Finally, she exclaimed. "Megha, is this your magic that makes it rain?" Megha chuckled softly. "No, Dia, it's not magic. It's the water cycle. Hop on and I'll show you how it works." Dia climbed onto the Megha's back, her excitement growing as she soared high in the sky. Below Mumbai and the queen's necklace stretched out like a beautiful painting. Away from the heat, they enjoy the cool breeze. That's the sun, says Megha. And those are rivers, lakes, and that is the ocean. When the sun heats up the rivers, lakes and the ocean, the water turns into water vapor and rises into the air. You can see it at home too when you heat water on the stove, the steam rising up is water vapor. This first step is called evaporation. As the water vapor goes high up in the sky, it reaches the cooler air high above and turns into tiny droplets of water. These droplets combine with dust and gases to form clouds. This process is called condensation. Megha zooms higher into the sky where fluffy white clouds surrounded them. These clouds are full of water. When it's full and can't hold any more, it bursts open releasing rain. Clouds are just like sponges, like the ones you use in the shower or to wash the dishes. When a sponge can't hold more water, it drips. Clouds do the same. They release rain, hail, or snow. This is called precipitation. Oh, so this is how the water cycle works. Exactly. Dia is now very excited. Megha says, "So this is the water cycle. And after it rains, the water collects in rivers, lakes and oceans or it soaks into the ground as groundwater." This cycle keeps repeating and ensures we always have rain. Dia is amazed. Dia and Megha now return home. Thank you so much Dia for teaching me about the water cycle. Thank you for showing me the magic of nature. Megha gave her a wink and disappeared into the clouds. Dia quickly slipped on her gum boots and her raincoat, rushing outside to splash in puddles and laugh in the rain. <laughs>